Hello and welcome to another video from Mac user and in this video we're going to look at installing Windows 11 on an Intel Mac using Boot Camp. No bells and whistles, no fancy hacking the registry or putting a build of Windows 10 and then adding a few bits from the installer to Windows 11. A very easy, simple, straightforward way of installing Windows 11 on a boot camp system that is already running Windows 10. And we're going to bypass the TPM check that Windows 11 insists the machine has to run it. So let's get into it then. So the first observation you've got to have is you've got to have installed the boot camp sequence of Windows 10. There isn't any way around that really. So you need to run that installer first. Once you've gone through that process and you've installed Windows 10 in boot camp on your Intel machine, the next thing you need to do is then go to the Microsoft website and download the installer for Windows 11. I'll put the link in the description below. I've also got an article on my website. Okay, so once the download is complete and you've got the installer in your downloads folder, you need to then double click it to open it up as though you're actually gonna try and install the software. So this would then open up uh, an extra drive space so for in this video's purpose, it's the D drive. Um, you then go to the start menu and type in CMD because you need to open up the command prompt or the DOS prompt. But when it comes up to open the command prompt, you must open it up in admin. You mustn't, you must open it up in admin. So it's right click, open as administrator. If you do it, just double click it, it won't work. So from there, you're in the command prompt. So we're in the admin prompt. We know that the D drive is where the installer is, is on and it's actively showing. So it's very, very simple. All we need to do now in the DOS prompt, we type. So we type the letter D colon backslash and press return. And we're now in the build package of the installer. And from here, just type the word setup.exe, then a space, and then a forward slash, and type the word product space server, and then press enter. And what should happen is it goes away and starts building the installer package for you. I have tried this on several machines and a few of them it just sort of sat there um, without doing anything but I found that if I ran the command prompt again it did go away uh, and do what it's supposed to do which is basically build the uh, installation package and bypass looking for the um, TPM check basically which is what it's all it's doing. When the wizard comes up, it'll obviously ask you several questions. You just need to obviously go through, click continue, um, and allow it to obviously to build the package uh, on the installer, and it just goes away uh, and does the installer for you. And then it will take several minutes to do this installation, depending on obviously the spec of the Intel machine. And then right at the very end, it will do a reboot and it's basically install Windows 11 over the existing Windows 10 bootcamp machine that you've already installed. And all you do now is to log in, and as you can see from the video clip, it takes a little while for it to build the Windows 11 interface package. So you just leave that, build it, and then once it's finished, it will obviously appear with the Windows 11 prompt. And then you've got then the option to either license the machine if you want to so obviously buy the uh, microsoft license uh, code for that um, and the, the default is that it's the pro version or you can just delete it 
delete the whole profile uh, just as an as a as a test basically as an ex experience for it. So when I did this video, there was no um, licensing. I didn't use any um, Windows licensing for it. I just I skipped that because I was going to. Uh, I'm only using it as a demo, uh, and I'm not actually going to register the the Microsoft operating system on the Macs that I used to uh, test the installation. Anyway, that's it really from me. It's a pretty straightforward video. Very, very easy way to install Windows uh, 11 without actually hacking a registry or building a, a separate package and then creating it in um, the creation tool that you can get from download from Microsoft or any of those bells and whistles. But by running that command, you bypass the TPM check and it goes away and installs quite happily on an Intel Mac Windows 11. I've tried it on a several iMacs, a couple of uh, laptops, and I've had no issues whatsoever. It's installed clean as a whistle, just like it would do with a normal boot camp sequence for Windows 10. Hopefully you'd find, find this video useful. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And as always, have a great day.